Today is the 30th of October, it's 2024 and uh, we're actually in Santa Ponza, we're walking down, we've just uh, parked the car near to the post office and uh, we thought we'd just walk from here down uh, towards, the, towards the sea. It's got a few shops and different places as we walk down here. So I'll turn the camera down, let's have a look. There's the pharmacy and the pharmacy says it's 26 degrees. I'll just tell you it's uh, quarter past four in the afternoon. And it, feel warm. Uh, it feels very warm. It's humid. In fact, it's so humid it was well, misty, almost foggy on the way here. Um, and it's been like that all day. I expected the, uh, the mist to blow away. It's supposed to have been a breeze, but there doesn't seem to have been enough to take it away. Actually, I can see a flag flying in the distance there, so there is some breeze around, but it's not shifting this misty fog, which has been coming off the sea, I suppose. Uh, just because it is so warm, there's some flags there flying. And uh, we've not had any rain, at least not for a couple of days, but uh, that's not been the case on the mainland. And uh, thank you for all the people who have said, uh, sent comments asking if we're safe and secure. Yep, we're safe, we're secure. Uh, the problems have been really in the Valencia area, uh, not Malaga, Valencia quite a long way away and uh, they've had some terrible flooding which has been covered uh, a lot in the Spanish press uh, it's just showing the complete devastation cars just being washed away down the roads and uh, well, we haven't had anything like that here uh, not this year we have had things like that in the past but at the moment uh, just up until we left the house there's something like 60 263 people have lost their lives and there's still lots of people that uh, are not counted for so that number could rise and uh, we're obviously very concerned about them and their families I hope that the rest are found safely this is our second visit to Santa Ponza today we've already been earlier on did intend to do a video earlier um, I went to the dentist and when I came out of the dentist I was a bit numb around the mouth and I don't think I would have made much coherent sense walking around talking so I didn't bother we went home and I've watched the budget and the uh, Prime Minister's question time Prime Minister's question time was the most civil Prime Minister's question time I've ever seen I think really? yeah well it's Rishi Sunak's last one ever and uh, Prime Minister was just telling me what a good boy he was. Across the road, that's the Pirates uh, Village. Uh, we're still on this side. It's going to be closing soon, I guess. Uh, the season's just about ending. In fact, this could well be their finale. I think Halloween is probably the finale for these things. It's not a place you can just walk into all the hotels most of them you can just walk into and uh, have a drink or you know, sit by the pool whatever that one they've got a person on the door and it says uh, you can only go in if you're a resident there but uh, nice to see that and uh, it's also I suppose it's half term for a lot of uh, British families don't know about elsewhere and so there are lots of tourists here and the temperature's actually been quite good for them. I think it got up to about 27 today and it's going to be sort of something similar the next couple of days. It has been a bit hazy and a bit cloudy. Yesterday was warm but cloudy. Um, we'll see. It's an interesting place, Tapasi Mass. Suit me. So we thought we'd come back this afternoon and uh, just complete, it, complete what we didn't do this morning. There's the dental clinic that I went to. Santa Ponza Dental Practice, quite a few dental practices. Another one on this side, look. We've been going 
to Howard for quite a while now and uh, I think you build up a relationship and a confidence in your dentist although um, our daughter in Somerset is finding it impossible to find uh, an NHS dentist um, for herself, for her family, for her children. Were they mentioned in the budget? Um, well, the NHS generally was. So, um, she's going to come over here. She's coming over for Christmas. <laughs> her Christmas present will be a visit to the dentist. Won't it, Nana? One Mommy. of them. One of them. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is my super, no, a visit to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the girls are going to come here as well, just so that uh, the dentist can just have a look at the teeth. It's a bit early for any treatment or anything like that yet. It's just uh, really just to check them out and make sure they're doing all right. And yeah, to get the children used to going to the dentist and having their teeth examined. It's something we've always done as a family and even before we came to Mallorca we always had a we going in Bangor do you yeah so when we got married we first one of the first things we did was to find a local dentist and we'd go there I think only just once a year just for a checkup and then when we came to Mallorca we located a, a dentist down here we've had two or three actually since we've been here as uh, our original dentist retired. He was a Dutch dentist, also in Santa Ponta actually. And then we had a, an English dentist up in Carmenola. And uh, we've got an English dentist again. These are private dentists as well, by the way, so you, know, you do have to pay for everything. There is a NHS dental system which we've had no experience of so I'm not sure how it works. My impression, which could be wrong, is that they only do extractions really, don't do much else. down to the front, just around about here, and uh, we've got uh, Harry's restaurant just around there. I've read that the uh, age concern are having their Christmas lunch there, and uh, I think the Masons are going to have their Christmas lunch there, so I'm sure we're going to get at least one Christmas lunch over there. And this is where we come and have a drink with Mel and Nita. Well, they're back around. in the UK now. Nita's apparently on the road to recovery. Good. Lots of love to her. This is the shot that Anita had me going in and videoing. It's really taken with the, the amount of things, the different variety that they had in there. Yeah. Walk around this way? Yeah, go around to the beach, mate. So, when I bumped into Alex in Parmanova, she was saying how brave we were for doing the swimming videos. <laughs> <laughs> she said she finished swimming, I think, in September. We're now at the end of October, and have we finished the swimming videos? Well, I think you just got to watch this space. 
Um, yeah, I think. There's one of those bus things quite again. Like. Yes. Saw one yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, not sure what they are. Yeah, I'm not sure whether we'll be going for any more swims. So today, no reason why we shouldn't have a swim. All right. Sure, whether the haze comes through, but there's definite haze around. Watching hole gone. I think we're going to see now, after this week anyway, we're going to see a lot of places so closed up and uh, sit mothballed for the winter. Top on. So Santa Ponza is one of the places that again got hit with flooding. Yeah. One of the issues is that the, um, the roads here are not very well drained, they don't have gutters and with drains in them. So the water just carries on coming down and by the time it gets to the bottom of a hill it can be quite a torrent and it's all got to end up somewhere. Big green area here. Hazy, isn't it? As we approach Halloween, Halloween tomorrow. Hazy Halloween. By the time we add this, it will be Halloween. And, uh, yeah, just mist and fog. We've already started with the beach protection. Here with the fences that just helps prevent the sand getting blown away and washed away, blown away more than. So they put the fences up here. But there are still lots of beach beds out and uh, there's still a lot of people on the beach. It's uh, considering it's half past four now. And uh, with the hour changing, it's going to be again dark soon. Uh, there's still a lot of people on the beach, I imagine in the sea as well. Just have to do that every evening and we put them out the following morning. And this uh, is Santa Ponza, so it's part of Calvia, and Calvia are talking about having a season which is from March to November. So we'll see if uh, the beach does stay open in November. I feel as I doubt it actually because I think. A lot of these places, a lot of the hotels are going to be closing this weekend. But we'll see. There's a lot of people on the beach. They're very busy, the beach is very busy. And, uh, yeah, okay, here's the and we this still have half -term, the lifeguard, it's half term, so yeah, lots of children about. Which last chance.
one of the things that showers get turned off when, uh, when, there's, when? there's no lifeguard in attendance. No. So if the lifeguards stop coming to the beaches, then those will go off. And it's just quite nice to have a little shower before you leave the beach and all that sand. But um, the beaches we've tried to go to swim have been none of these beaches anyway. They've been the, some of the smaller beaches, concentrated on the little bays that uh, you perhaps as tourists easily miss or don't even know is there. And uh, that's true of Santa Ponza really, because uh, if anybody talks about the beach in Santa Ponza, then this is what they're generally they're talking about. But uh, there is another beach just around there. And, uh, if you've watched the, the videos where we had the, the Moors and the Christians battles uh, and that's where the first of the battles takes place and it's just a nice little small beach. Whereas this is like the main big beach. There's a big boy. They don't look like that big when they're in the sea, do they? They just look like tiny little things. Once the uh, lifeguard's not in situ, then uh, this uh, first aid post uh, stops being manned as well. Now it should be manned until oh, September to October, it says. So looks like the beaches here will be closing down in October. Tomorrow is the last day of October. It doesn't mean you can't come to the beach, it just means that there won't be a lifeguard there and there won't be any safety things around. The beds will gradually be disappearing and uh, these um, walkways which make getting down there easier they'll be disappearing too. Tourist information office though, usually I think the one in Palma Nova stays open because these are not just tourist information information generally for Calvia and uh, so they're actually used by the locals uh, as a, a gateway to the council offices um, for us in particular it's really to get a certificate to say that we can go to the mainland and get the discount on the flights so, it's our main reason for going and I think uh, after Brexit we, need, we have to go as well uh, because uh, following Brexit we got taken off the register and uh, we needed to make sure we were on the, the register so we had to get put back on the, the local council register so we needed to go to one of the again we usually go to Parmano because it's the most convenient uh, office and there uh, we get put back onto the council register which then gives us the facility to have the 75% discount when we travel to the mainland. It's the H10 and the Barracuda. We've got little market stalls setting up here along the front. You don't want that bird. Yeah, this is some candy. I think the next one's more interesting. This one down here. Yeah. Yep, we need Friday afternoon. Short walk this evening. Coffee and cake, 7.50. Funny thing about when you go to the dentist and you have your injections to numb your mouth while they do whatever they're going to do, it's when you come back out and you try and have a glass of water and you're all dribbling all down your face. <laughs> yeah, yes, there you go. Just didn't last very long, did it? 
No, probably an hour, and it seemed to be more on one side than the other. But I think it feels pretty normal now. And then the dentist uh, gave me a couple of prescriptions, one for antibiotics and one for a pain relief. And I uh, had to go and get those filled, so we did that. Another pharmacy. I was sent a, a video by Eduardo, which um, was actually a, a Spanish video, which was talking about the, the dire state of pharmacies, chemist shops in England. So I think we're all familiar with the fact that it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to get a, a dentist. Well, there's not enough chemists in them. Well, yeah. Uh, so, there's also an issue with getting appointments at doctors in the UK. And, uh, well, this article, it was actually a video he sent to me, uh, was seemed to be saying that pharmacies are shutting at a rate of about 10 a week. Um, and partly because uh, they're being in pose with lots of extra work with not much more money or little money or if any money and uh, they've been asked to uh, act as sort of something in between the the doctor and the nurse and the dentist I suppose and being able to prescribe and help you I th yeah dent not pharmacies here are always very helpful you go to a pharmacy and the uh, and uh, they will help you out I even used to. I'm not sure whether they still do give you antibiotics if you've got uh, a need for them. We're doing some work down here. And, uh, well, pharmacies are something which there are lots and lots of them in Mallorca. I think generally in Spain. So I don't know whether you get the same issue of problems in in the UK if uh, there is a problem with them. Well, there you go, that's just the beginning of the end for that particular hotel, all closed up. This time last year we were on our little jaunt to Sacoma and we've been toying with the idea and we've not been getting anywhere actually this year so we've not been anywhere and uh, it looks like this hotel which is the one where Mel and Nita were staying that's also closed up. So they got the shutters down. Santa Ponza does have quite a, a residential community so some of the places, uh, some of the bars and restaurants will stay open. Oh yes, there are some people here so it isn't completely closed. Actually a few standing by the pool. So strike that one and there's a correction. Blue Valley's a park hotel is, is open.
bit confused now. Not sure that what's the pool to the Rossland, to the Globalis. This one is it's Globalis. All different Globalis, but this one is open. Pioniero. I think maybe the pool we've just been looking at. Yeah, it's place, yeah. yeah, it's that time of the year where it's a bit confusing about what is open, what isn't open. You can see a lot of the uh, buildings to the right here, these are residential apartments, people live here, and certainly all the apartments in front are residential. Salvation Army shops open here. It's very rarely open when we come past. In fact, uh, we went to the uh, one in Palmanova just the other day to drop off some things. Can you have a look? Yeah. Quick look in here, can't we? Nothing for us today. Is there a bar anywhere here? Now we'll go back. This is the um, Restaurante Mediterraneo. It says it's uh, Maison Del Rey. decided to stop and have a coffee, that was our decision. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> well, we've had a nice coffee and we're uh, on our way back now to the car. And, uh, well, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.